It's so hard, y'all. I just, I just gotta hold on, you know? Like, I'm so close. <laughs> This is like a video diary because I can't I literally can't talk to no one because my phone is off this is day two of my phone off I was super scared that I was gonna miss a phone call from the prison to do my um, processing which I did miss the call luckily they sent me an email and they said that I could either call back or email. So, of course, I opted to email once I was on Wi-Fi. So, I have to go to, like, a gas station or sit outside of McDonald's or Burger King or somewhere. And so, that's what i literally been doing. Um, on the way, it's, it's eight something already. And I'm on the way to the nearest gas station that has Wi-Fi so that I can put the address in my GPS and just kind of map out where it is that I have to go because processing is somewhere different from where I went the last time. Uh, when I tell y'all I screamed to the top of my lungs last night, isolated, you know, in the car all alone after I told the kids to just go inside and I just needed a moment to myself. All I want to do is provide for my kids. That's it. That's all. And everything in the world is trying to prevent me from doing so. Like everything. Everything and everyone. Not everyone. Like literally, y'all know that. Um, I was supposed to receive my settlement check from a car accident. I was in in January last week. Still don't have it. I signed for it. They told me in three weeks I could come back and pick it up. This is the fourth week. They said their adjuster wasn't in last week. What even needs to be adjusted after I've signed for the amount that I'm going to receive um, and everything? Yo, and I tell you, just like I'm waiting on my own money so that I don't have to ask anybody for anything. I'm going without because I'm not going to ask anybody for anything. Um, because I literally shouldn't have to. And I'm so tired. You know, and, and ways have been made here and there. This journey is so long. Like, yeah, I've been struggling for a long time. I get on here and not be fake. I'm genuinely a happy person. So I'll probably be happy in a couple hours. It's just, I have my moments where life really be hitting me. And it's like, oh my God. Like, I really just got to sit in this moment get up here and be fake I just I choose not to get on here and complain I choose not to get on here and complain so I talk about the positive things and and I try to spread positivity and if you've been here for a while I've always tried to encourage other people especially when it comes to single moms becoming entrepreneurs or even a content creator I just try to encourage people because I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is for moms in particular because that has been my struggle for for years now. It's just trying to be a good mom, trying to give my kids whatever I can't give them, um, trying to make sure that they're well taken care of. Um, hold on, you guys. I'm, I'm almost at Burger King. Um, I'm able to connect to their Wi-Fi, and I'm going to try to put my GPS on and see what I can do, y'all. This out is, I guess, 827, if that's correct. And I have to be there at 9. Hopefully, I'm giving myself enough time. I don't know. Yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. It's the, the, the journey and the struggle. And then y'all know, working for the prison, I'm going to be getting paid once a month. Which is not even a problem, but it's just like... It's just another part of the journey. Because you, you do a month in a hole. Like, yeah, I'm not used to 
a whole month in the hole. Like, I'm used to... At this point, I'm just living life like the check not gonna come because it's like I'm tired of waiting for it. I'm just like, okay, let me move on with my life. Let me figure something else out. And then when it comes, that will just be great. I'm mentally drained and exhausted. I feel like I'm jumping from one thing to another. That's probably why I don't vlog when I'm like this because my mind is literally everywhere. And I, I like to vlog when I'm focused on one thing and um, I haven't focused my mind today at all. Um, but I'm about to be at the Burger King. I'm about to use my phone to pull up the address and put it in my GPS and then I need to mentally prepare. I've already cried and prayed this morning several times and I just think I'm just gonna have to pray once more. I don't wanna cry because I'm about to literally be on my way to this place. Um so but you know it is what it is. I know this Burger King is tired of seeing me. So I'm I was able to turn the GPS on and it stayed on um, the whole time I was here. Well, you know, on the way here, um, I just got to the Department of Public Safety. Um, I don't know. I have all my paperwork and stuff. I'm about to grab all my things. I cannot take my phone inside. Um, and I will talk to you when I get out. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to give y'all a bit of an update. Um, so I did, <laughs> I had a 300 question. I had a test that was over 300 questions to take. Um, basically like a psych type of test. And I was told I will find out within a week if I passed it or not. And, um, and then, you know, we move forward. So first of all, I just want to say I wasn't prepared for that um like mentally i didn't know how long i was gonna be um king was with my friend which i knew he was safe with her i just didn't know how he was gonna act because you know no one ever watches him like no one outside of my mom and my siblings and one cousin <laughs> so i was like eh, i don't know how he's gonna act but i luckily once i was done with everything I got to, I drove to the nearest McDonald's to connect to Wi-Fi, and the first text that popped up was her saying how good he was, and I was like, okay, good, he was being good, the sweet king I know that he could be, but y'all, just mentally, y'all seen how I was talking, y'all heard and felt my mood prior, I wasn't mentally prepared to be there for that long to take a test that was over 300 questions. Um, <laughs> Y'all, this journey is so, it's like I'm on multiple journeys and I know I've said that time and time again, but y'all to be a single mom, um, struggling so hard financially like y'all one of my subscribers sent me fifty dollars yesterday i absolutely cried because no one has to send me anything like nobody even know in depth like these video diaries i'm going in depth but like the vlogs that i've been posting this month y'all don't know the half like until you've seen this this is real raw content y'all don't know the half and so i very vaguely just was stating how frustrating this process is this transition is for me and how you know i'm trusting god but i'm frustrated but i'm trusting god you know um so for someone to feel led to to you know bless me some type of way oh i'm so grateful i was overly um grateful i was overly grateful y'all it's just struggle after struggle y'all know my child birthday just passed i couldn't y'all know how i do birthdays i couldn't do everything i wanted to do in the vlog 
the birthday vlog it hasn't been posted yet because we still have to celebrate saturday which i'm still waiting on my son man i don't even know how that's gonna go down but you know when you see me around my kids you just gonna see a smile on my face um but yeah so i did like two days later which was yesterday was it yesterday yeah i don't know for sure um i got an email i'm i'm just grateful that i'm getting emails from these people because they're trying to call me first and my phone is off um so i got an email saying that it was from you know the people for me to move forward um i was told you know only if you pass will they even contact you if not you'll 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 get a letter saying that you can retest in a year um so yeah you with the if i didn't pass um i wouldn't have been able to move forward with the process and i would have had to wait a year to retest so um i passed um and i'm be doing the next step next week um which is a meeting um this is a very serious job so the process is very serious and lengthy but i just know it'll all be worth it in the end y'all like every tear every every inconvenience every let down every disappointment every heartache every ounce of discouragement like it's all gonna turn around and it's all coming together and i'm gonna look at this one day and remember how strong i was to endure this process like <laughs> Y'all, I passed, I, I passed my test. I, I'm doing what I was told I couldn't do. When you got kids, <laughs> oh, you can do anything. Put, put, put kids, put your kids in God. Put your kids as your, your motivation and God as your strength. <laughs> Sky's the limit. Strengthened by God, motivated by the kids. Yeah, I can do it. Whew, fighting tears, y'all. This is hard. It's so hard, y'all. I just... I just gotta hold on, you know, like I'm so close. I'm so close to getting a start date in my official offer. Like, I'm so close. I want this so bad. And y'all would like to talk to my mom about this, but you know, y'all know my mom. Y'all have seen her on my channel. Very supportive. You see her in my comments on YouTube. My mom is did not like the idea of me taking this job in the past when i first was offered this position um for safety concerns and as a mom i can understand her concerns um only reason i'm not talking to her about it is because i don't want her fear to transform into my fear i don't want that passed on to me um she's not a negative person she's not um, and I would like to share this with her, but I can't right now. Um, and that's weighing on me too. Because I can talk to her about a lot of stuff. And I do, I do. And when I am talking to her, she knows half of what I'm dealing with. She don't know the job aspect. Anything else that's going wrong or that's bothering me. Um, cause she does check in and she, she cares, you know, it's just like, yeah. So mom, I love you. 
but the same way you would do whatever you had to do for me i'm just trying to do whatever i got to do for for those grandbabies of yours um hey, mommy. yes king I want to drink. okay you want milk or juice okay so that's it for this video you guys Okay. Be careful. Yeah. That's it for this video, y'all. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe.